Hey guys, it's just here with a quick haul video. As you all know, if you watched my previous video, I went on holiday recently. Um, me and my family, well, my mum and dad, and my best friend Emma went to the Lake District. We stayed in a beautiful place called Bowness on Windermere, which looks out onto Lake Windermere, obviously. And it is just stunning down there. It's my favourite place to be. It's my third time, I think, being there. I haven't been for a good few years, so it was nice to get away. Um, but while I was there, I did a bit of shopping um, in the wee area that we lived in. And we also went to Blackpool for the day. Um, while we were there, we went. We obviously went to the Pleasure Beach, which was absolutely fantastic can't recommend it enough it was just brilliant um but while we were in blackpool we me, me and emma went to the primark there and oh my god it was amazing our primark here in inverness has two floors the one in blackpool i think had four so we were in there for a good hour having a look around I didn't buy too much, I was quite good, I was quite restrained, um, but I'll show you in a minute what I did get. But first I'll show you the things I got um, in the wee shops in Bowness. So, first shop I went to was called Gifts & Co. So it sold, obviously, gifts. Um, like, they had a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Um, Lots of, uh, what the heck is it called? Peter Rabbit stuff because, um, as you'll see in a minute, I went to the World of Beardrick's Potter attraction, which is in Bowness. Um, and every time I go there, I go because it's just so magical. It doesn't matter how old you are, it's fantastic. But... While I was in Gibson Co, I picked up this book um, for Jeannie and Tony's son, I guess. It's actually Tony's son. Um, so, Jeannie, don't show him this video. <laughs> so, I got him this to put by for his Christmas because he's in uh, comic books, I guess. So, I got that. And, yes, it was on sale for £3. But I've never seen anything with that character on it, ever. So, I got that. And then, I got this little pen. It was two ninety nine, And yes, it's a unicorn. So, I got that for me. Then... this little bag I got this little Peter Rabbit notebook just opens up like that and I got the matching pen and these are for my friend uh, Carol Ann so hopefully I'll see her next week so I can give her those so the little, little notebook was $1.99 and I have no idea how much the pen was. <laughs> Probably about the same price. So I'll just put them back in the little bag. So got those for my friend. Then this is the last thing from that shop is this Hello Kitty belt. And it's this hearts on it. And this was, originally it was £7.60 and in their little sale it was £2. I don't know if it's going to fit me yet. Um, but I thought for that price I'm getting one. So got that. Then from a wee shop called Lonsdale Galleries I think it was called. I just picked up two Lake District Rocks. Don't know who I'm going to give them to yet. 
I'm sure I'll find somebody. So I got those. Then um while we were there the way the weather was just phenomenal. Every day it was sunshine. Um just amazing really. And it was so hot that we me and Emma when I say me, we even I mean me and Emma. We both got um little fans and I can't remember the shop that I got this from but it was only one ninety nine and it was a lifesaver because it was roasting. So I got that. Um the day we went to Blackpool I got a sunburn <laughs> so you can tell how hot it was. Um we went to a wee place called Ambleside, which isn't far from where we were staying. And we went to a shop called, I think it was called Oolala. And my mum spotted this. And then when I seen it, I was like, yes, I have to have that. And it is this little bracelet and it says I believe in unicorns and it's got a little unicorn charm and it's so cute so I got that and it actually fits my wrist I have problems getting bracelets to fit me so I'm quite chuffed that that fits and that was a tenner which I didn't mind paying that for because it was gorgeous then one of the days while we were there, we went to the Beatrix Potter attraction, like I said. Um, so I'm just getting out the bits and pieces that I bought. Um, not really organised for this video. <laughs> So we went to the Beatrix, the world of Beatrix Potter attraction. It's called, and when you're there, you get the option to do the little activity trail. Um, we started it, but we didn't finish it because well, we're not five. <laughs> so we did that. It's really good for kids if you want to keep them interested. There was lots of kids doing it when we were there. So we did that. It was a bit of fun. And then I bought the souvenir book guide. And it basically just tells you all about the attraction and the characters that's in it. And a wee bit of history about um, Beatrix Potter. So I got those. That was £1.50. So really nice little souvenir. Most of the shops in Bowness and surrounding areas have a lot of Peter Rabbit and um, other characters merchandise because um, I'm going to sound like a right geek now but not far from where we were is the house that she wrote the books in we didn't get to go and see it this time round but it's called Hilltop Farm and from the pictures it looks stunning and I've seen it on TV so Peter Rabbit and all the other books were sort of set in that area so anyway I digress I'll show you what else I got so I got this little pen and it has Flopsy Bunny on it. It's not really. There we go. Um, so I thought that was really cute. Can't remember how much that was. I think it was like two ninety nine. Everything was kind of overpriced, but you are only buying the brand after all. And then I got this cute little chopping board. 
with I think that is Mrs. Tiddywinkle. I could be wrong but I'm pretty certain that's who that is. And that was two ninety nine for that. And then the last things are these two um photos. Now I'm not gonna show you because me and Emma are in the photo and she might not want her face all over YouTube so I bought two so I need to remember and give her her one so we got those just to remember the holiday really so that was from the Beatrix Potter place and then um, there was like an American candy shop can't remember the name of that shop either but it was on the hill um, and we went in for a wee nosy and I bought a Three Musketeers bar. I absolutely love those. Totally overpriced at £1.50 but I will make sure I enjoy it. So I got that and then I got a Charms Blow Pop in Strawberry and it's got bubble gum on the inside. So I got those. So, oh, and then last thing to show you from around the shops in Bowness. There was a supermarket called Booths. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And i would never heard of that supermarket before. I mean, I've been there three times and that was the first time I've been in it. So we went there for a few bits and pieces because where we stayed was uh, self-catering. We went out for dinner a few nights and we also stayed in and had dinner. Um, so while we were in that supermarket I seen this and I thought it was quite cute so I bought it. <laughs> um, the Cake District. Yep, I like cake. And that was £3.50. So yep, yeah, I got that. So that's what I got from the shops in bonus on Mundimere and then just found this in one of the bags this was the pub that we ate dinner in I think it was two nights maybe even three it was called the sign outside said the peel but it's called old John peel and they do amazing food and the staff are so friendly as well so if you're Planning a holiday in the Lake District anytime soon. Go here for your meal. They do a good gammon steak. So, went there. Then we went to Keswick. Um, when, while we were there, they had on their market thing. I think they have it every Thursday. And we went along. And... Emma and I saw a stall that was selling this stuff, Sparkle Bright, Lens Cleaner and Anti-Fog Gel and the guy did like a demonstration for us on both of our glasses and the stuff's amazing, um, really cool. Um, each bottle was 7 99 but he was doing like an offer thing too for £10 so we just got one and I still use it since being away so yeah I really like that stuff it works on um, let me see spectacles reading glasses pardon me sunglasses sports eyewear PC screens bathroom mirrors and many other uses so yeah I got that right now that is everything from Bowness, so I will move that stuff out of the way. Now on to Blackpool. So, first of all, I'll just show you my Pleasure Beach wristband. So, that's that. 
that um yeah so <laughs> we made the mistake of not pre-booking and we paid 39 pound for our wristbands but if you book either the night before you're going or a week before you're going um it's 25 pound so definitely recommend pre-booking your tickets because it's cheaper <laughs> but um i didn't mind paying the 39 pound because i really wanted to go and i really enjoyed it usually i won't go near anything like that but it was so good um we went on where did we go on we went on the nickelodeon stark i think it's called um i'll show you the map they give you like a complimentary map of the place um so i'll just show you so here it is so we went to nickelodeon land and we also went on this one which was I can't remember the name of it but it's basically like spaceships that go round and round but as it's going round they come out further from that bit and it's really cool so that was the first thing we went on then Emma went on this thing that shoots you up like this tower thing there was no way in heck you were getting me on that <laughs> so she went on that and then we went like i said we went to nickelodeon land and we went on pretty much everything in there yeah it's for kids but we had a whale of a time um i would say if you're going on your first roller coaster go on that one I went on it twice and absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. So, um, yeah, it was so good. Uh, what else did we go on? We went on this thing that goes up really, really high, like a pendulum, but it spins around at the same time. Blinking amazing. So, yeah, definitely recommend going to Blackpool pleasure beat it was awesome but just to warn you i never went on this one i can't even read what that says um but it's like a waterfall if you go you'll see it like a massive waterfall thing don't go on it unless you've got a spare change of clothing because we've seen people coming off it absolutely drenched so just to warn you um, especially Sam, if you're watching this, and if you guys are going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, take extra clothing because we went on, what was it called? It was a Rugrats ride. Yeah, Rug Rugrats Lost River. We went on that, the second ride we went on. Like me and Emma together, we went on that. Don't know why, but we didn't think we were going to get wet. We got drenched. Luckily, it was a hot day, so wasn't too bad. But yeah, take dry clothes. There is lockers there to um, put your stuff in. That's what we did. We got a locker and just put our bags in because you're not really like to take your phones or anything on the rides or I don't know if you're not allowed to but we didn't because they would be absolutely knackered so yeah you get your complimentary map and then inside it you get like a five pound off voucher which I wish we had gotten this I wish I had noticed this um while we were there because we went to SeaWorld and it was amazing again absolutely recommend going there they have 
massive. Is it turtles? Yeah, I think it's turtles. They're huge. And I can't remember its name. I think it was called Lily. And she was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful fish. So yeah, recommend the Pleasure Beach and Deep Sea World. We didn't go to Madame, whatever it's called, can't say it. We didn't go there. But yeah, definitely go to the Pleasure Beach because it is amazing. Right, now on to Primark. So, I was in there for ages and I'm surprised I didn't come out with more. But that's quite a good thing. So, first thing I got was this sponge. And it's a rainbow, as you can see. That was a pound. So, that was quite cool. Then, I've been checking my Primark for these for weeks. Ever since seeing them on Facebook. And... Still not got them. So I managed to get them in Blackpool. And say £3 on the thing. And then when I looked at my receipt. They were down a pound. So pretty chuffed with that. Um, I got this for Emma. I think she's forgotten about it actually. I did tell her that I bought it for her. So it'll be a surprise when I see her. Um, I didn't know these were reduced. Until I got to uh, Retail or looked at my receipt. They were still priced at a fiver. There was no red labels on these or the socks. Which was kind of annoying. Because, you know. Anyway. So I got that for M. Um, and it was £2. Then, as you all know, I have a slight obsession with Lilo and Stitch at the moment. So... I got this new Stitch um, t-shirt and it says on it there Ohana means family. I love that saying. And that was £6. So I got that. I need to put myself on a t-shirt band. I now have two drawers full of t-shirts instead of one. It's becoming a problem guys. So I got that t-shirt. And then you can't go to Primark without buying pyjamas. So I got these ones that match my big cover, funnily enough. And they've got this wee thumper all over them. Nice for the summer. And they were £10 for those ones. So I love those. And then I got these ones. And super cute these little Hello Kitty ones and they're shorts and t-shirt so hopefully we get some more good weather so that I can wear those because uh, last couple of nights I've been quite cold and put back on my winter jammies so hopefully we get some nice summery nights and I can wear my summery pyjamas now the last thing I don't really know why I bought this because I didn't use it on the way home, it was in my case, and good job I bought that big case as well, is this, I'll just lift you up a little bit, it's a unicorn neck pillow, I just love it, and it was £5, it was so super cute, so yeah, that's everything I got from my holiday very happy with all my purchases apologies for my rambling and this long video it wasn't a small haul after all anyway thanks for watching guys um, take care of yourselves any comments you know where to leave them down below um, if you want to be notified of my videos Hit the little bell button down there as well. And if you're not subscribed already, please feel free to do so. So, until my next video, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Oh, and hi to Leila and Finley if you're watching.